Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have for you another brilliant chess game. Let's remember Michal Chigorin as chess genius and one of the greatest chess player of chess history. Let's come back to Vienna 1898 and let's follow this beautiful chess game. Michal Chigorin played this game with white pieces and Karo played with black pieces and uh, black sacrificed his knight with threat check on h4. Looks like a really dangerous threat and now white has to be careful. It's a question to take a knight or not to take a knight. It's the same question like to be or not to be because if uh, white is not taking a knight, he's losing material and he's losing game. So he took a knight and he's asking black, just show me your attack. Of course, check on h4 and now white came to e2. Um, it's a long journey waiting for a white king because a white king will be danger everywhere on the board till he will came to a1 and believe me or no white king is going to to touch almost all squares on the board till he will find the most safe square on a1 so okay check on g4 happened and now black to go on e4 it's a really hard to to break all threats and to break down all pins but uh, white found it and did a good job he played queen d4 and right now it's not good idea to win a piece back why for example if uh, say black is taking piece back this bishop is pinned and if this bishop is going anywhere, black is, black is losing a queen. So for this reason, don't hurry. And black played good. Uh, he played uh, bishop h5. Uh, bishop h now the threat, of course, is to take a piece on f3 with a check. And then there are no more pins and difficulties. But white played to e3. And still, it's a difficult to take this knight because, for one more time, if uh, black is taking knight on f3, he is losing queen and he is losing a game. So, how to play this position? Black decided to take on f3 and his threat, of course, is to deliver a check on e1 and hoping for draw. Say, if uh, black is taking on f3, there's a check, check. And maybe it's a draw. But maybe Chigorin believed that uh, it's not draw position. And he played maybe risky move bishop b5 check. And after c6, he took on f3. Of course, no more checks on e1 because of this rook. But of course, lots of checks on g5 and h6. And of course, white king is in a danger. And he will be in danger forever. If black will not play a blunder. So, okay, check on h6 happened. Now, <laughs> white took on e4, another pawn, and uh, check. And up to material, maybe black's position is not lost. Yes, but after bishop a3, black's king is still sitting in the middle of the board without any chance to play long or short castle and this situation changed a game because not only white's king is in a danger at the end black's king is in danger too so a really messy position where both players playing for advantage or attack at the end for victory and that's a beautiful chess fight you know just imagine how it has to be difficult to count all variations how it has to be difficult to not play a blunder and how it uh, used to be beautiful to play such a beautiful chess game so knight c6 happened and queen d5 after a few more moves black played rook d8 with a really deadly threat rook d3 or queen d3 and white should not lose a control over the square so for this reason white took on b5 
and after a6 um, played queen b1 still looking for d3 and is not ready to lose a control over the square so black check and a4 queen g2 and bishop d6 it was important to to keep a black king in the middle of the board hoping for counter attack on the right time so check on h3 and king e4 f5 happened and king d5 and that's amazing position of uh white king i can't remember a game where white king or black king is safe on d5 square and for black it's difficult to deliver more than a few more checks and you know black is looking for attack he doesn't believe that white will survive with his king on d5 and for this reason he played check on g2 uh, maybe this is a losing move uh, the, the right move should be rook c8 and uh, okay uh, it's a bad it's bad to take pawn on b7 because of this variation where um, black is winning of course that's an amazing variation and i can't believe that uh, black will see everything and if yes i can't believe that after rook c8 why do will take pawn on b7 it's too risky so maybe here rook c8 and probably here uh Maybe queen b6, don't know, or maybe, uh, okay, maybe here king c4, uh, how, to, how to kill a white king, uh, g6 was the best way, and uh, maybe in all variation, white king has a big, big difficulties, so say maybe, maybe rook c2, b5, Ninety four, that's a bad. Of course, that's a bad. And here, a white king will not survive. Uh, maybe, maybe the best way how to play this position after now rook c eight is to go king c five, b six, b seven, c eight, b seven. And here is a checkmate. So yes, uh, actual game looks like White King has a big, big difficulties. But you know what's wrong with check on G two? Looks like this check is absolutely correct. And even here, uh, White King will not survive. Okay, maybe before that, um, White King is a big hero and he will survive everything. But only if Black is going on the wrong way. And that's happened now because uh, white came to c4, b5, f3, b3, and after a few more moves, okay, a queen f4. Well done. <laughs> white king is on a1, and now it's the best time to believe for counter attack. Yes, black missed a winning chances, but just to be, just to be fair. It's a difficult to play game without any mistake. It's a it's a difficult to play a perfect game, and no one on the world is playing game without mistakes. So, if this is the fair results of this game, I don't know. But now Black has big difficulties, and Black has to do all his best to survive. And he played a queen c4, still hoping for attack, but e6 is changing the game because knight c6, and now queen d1 h5 and uh, rook g1 and what's happened the biggest surprise is right now here it's not black who is attacking a white king the other side everything changed and only white is attacking black king and black now resigned it what a sad story of um, 
this game, maybe you believe that um, Black was playing for victory. But as everybody knows, chess game is the game of last mistake and now um, Blacks is losing. Because for example, if Black is now taking on g7, there is a check on h5 and checkmate on h8. Well done to Chigorin. He was genius and he played maybe risky, but he won this game. And this game was played on Vienna 1898. And I was happy to show this game because it was the best time to remember Michal Chigorin as one of the greatest chess players of all times and chess genius. So if you agree with me, you like this video, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. And remember that you have to fight till end because only fighter is a winner at the end. So that's all for now my friend thank you for watching your time attention likes follows and hope that i'm going to meet you here next time in our another interesting chess video see you soon take care bye bye